We're gonna be going to Nepal, so let's go. Crazy roads. We just got here in the resort. Look at how beautiful it is here. <laughs> we got like the ultimate welcoming too. Just made it here into Sundupakar. That's not what it is. Pretty much drove like two and a half hours outside of Kathmandu and we're just staying here. This is just the first stop on the journey. I'm staying here for like two nights and yeah, got like the ultimate greeting. The people in Nepal like just have such a good energy, like so welcoming, so nice. Every single person I've met from Nepal, there's just a certain warmth to them. And I really love this place. So I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> like, look at this. I feel like I'm like a, a king or something. So the reason why I'm actually in Nepal is because my uncle is a really cool dude and he helped build a hospital in a very, very remote region in Nepal called Hagam. By the way, this is this really cool tea set that Alia got me for Christmas. It's like a travel tea set. So you can do like the typical uh, Kung Fu tea style all within I don't know, this thing, you can take it everywhere. It's so convenient. But today you're gonna do a little bit of white water rafting on that river that you just saw. It's a little bit chocolatey. We'll have to taste it, let's see. One of the things I've really been liking about Nepal though, is the air quality is just pristine over here. Like it's incredible. Um, especially coming from Bombay, that's just total dust. It's pretty good. Just going for a little walk. It's so beautiful here. Everywhere is just amazing. Check out these weights. Boom. <laughs> Pants are soaking wet. Me bohat tanda or gila hu. Just got back from whitewater rafting and that was amazing. It was so fun, so beautiful, so cold the water, but like, ah, so alive. And I loved, man, all of the Nepali people that we're with are so nice. They're so alive and so cool. And yeah, it just makes me think wow like sometimes you just live life so dull you know and all the people around sometimes also act dull and you act dull so i think sometimes you just got to break that pattern and be alive and like expressive and feel life and feel uncomfortable because it really is amazing and meet new people it's just <sighs> It's one of the amazing things in life. But now I'm gonna take a damn hot shower and it's gonna feel great. Seeing all this like magnificent beauty all around me, today it's been like really inspiring. And it's made me kind of think like, this almost feels like how humans are meant to live in some beautiful part of nature because it just feels so inspiring and so life-giving. So. It's something to keep in mind in Mumbai, I guess. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up from like a really bad dream, but I'm really grateful that I woke up and that dream is not reality. So I'm feeling, uh, feeling good. Like I have some perspective. <laughs> it's like eight o'clock now. We're gonna be going straight into the mountains. like three hours, really remote village. Yeah, let's go. Got the car loaded up. We just stopped. This is the last city before we reach Hagum. Mm -hmm. Check it out. <laughs> 
wow. This is a school here. Look at that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Fixing the flag. Does this not look like heaven? It's insane. This is Jericho Road Hospital. This is where we're staying tonight. And there's this incredible view. Why did you build this here? After the earthquake in 2015, some staff from Jericho Road in Buffalo, they were uh, Nepali refugees, um. and, and they had a lot of family here. And so they came to the mountain and walked up the mountain to, to take pictures, to sh and then came back to Buffalo to show us could we help these people somehow. Oh. So then I, d I decided to get a group together, and we came here. And we seen it and we said, it's better, it's as good a place as any. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they have no health care. These people have no health care. Yeah. So why not give them some health care? Yeah, yeah. They deserve it. Yeah. We physically take care of people in one of those, with these room, this room right here. People fall out of trees, they fall down the mountain, they cut themselves with the axe, they burn themselves with... I mean, it's, it's, it's a lot of trauma. So if someone's sick and we can handle them, but they just need time to heal, uh -huh. we, can, we can keep them in here. Overnight? Overnight, over two days or three days if we want. And they don't have any access to anything remotely similar to this? No, 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 here. No, from where we left the, the city yeah. <laughs> up to here is nothing. That's why we're here. Right. We are where Jesus would have been. Right. <laughs> I honestly think this is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my entire life. I really can't even fathom that some people get to see this beauty every single day. I want to. Wow. Rice pudding, right? Rice pudding? Look at this incredible food that we just had made. I cannot wait to eat all of this. And this is kombucha. Kombucha tea. Yeah, it's made with the with ten herbs taken oh, wow. around the mountain. Yeah. Yeah. This is so cool. Wow. And this This is good for your stomach too. Mm. Shane, we're gonna have Whoa, good stomachs. That's it's really good. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh baby, just so cute! Oh my gosh! This is uh, what? Mahi. Mahi. It's like, oh, it's like a thin milk yes. or a thin yogurt almost. Yes, it is made oh, okay. from, yeah, like from the here, milk. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So home, a home temple. It's all painted, all by hand. Alright, we just woke up, it's like 6 a.m. I'm gonna go on a little hike. <laughs> Made it to the top. Look at those amazing mountain peaks. <laughs> what is this bread called? In Nepali? Yeah. Sel. Sel. Look at this. Just get to explore, run around and play on these rice terraces. <laughs> Look at that. People carved out this rock with their own hands. Delicious. Look so at this. Warm. <laughs> wow, nice. look at this. 
We just stopped at another random bridge. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Crazy. There's a zip line. <laughs> hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. We're getting some momos from this roadside shop. Take a look. We got umbrellas on the ceiling. Here, I get this too. Mm -hmm. So yesterday we got back from Hagum and now we're here in Kathmandu just for one last day here in Nepal. Uh, yeah, we're just going to explore, have some fun. Really chill day after all the craziness the past few days. So yeah, let's go have some fun. All right, so we're currently at the monkey temple and <laughs> there's a lot of little monkeys everywhere. <laughs> Hi, you sweet, beautiful girl. Why is there Hindu and Buddhist gods? So the people, local people from here, Newari people, they believe in both Hindu and Buddhist God. It's a combination of Hindu and Buddhist. So this looks like a Buddhist stupa. And then over here, it looks like there's a lot of Hindu influence like a mandar and that's because what she was saying earlier it's really interesting to see the Hindu and Buddhist culture mix to me this is the coolest thing ever so much to explore look at the level of intricacy here all of these carvings oh my gosh it's so sweet she's picking the fleas off and the other well, one's milk uh nursing yeah there's a little one nursing right there the ginger honey it's the best my hands are so cold it's so warm yeah. all right check this out this is called chicken diro and i have never had anything like it look at that <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's all ghee. Well I just smush it and then grab it and smush it and... And dip it in ghee? Yep. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Use my finger? And I just take this? Mmm. Yeah. Oh, like this. That's that is it. crazy. That was like an insanely delicious dinner, but yeah, now I'm just gonna walk home. I think I'm pretty much just gonna end the vlog here because there's nothing really else. I mean, leaving tomorrow and that should be it so anyway i really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and i will catch you very soon peace